When you look at our planet, what do you see? Clouds, continents, and water, lots of water. Nearly two-thirds of the Earth is covered in water. Scientists suggest the figure is somewhere around 326 million trillion gallons. That's a lot of water. So why is water considered such a scarce commodity? 97.5% of all the water that makes up this blue planet is salt water. Of the remaining 2.5%, most is locked up in glaciers, permanent snow cover, and as soil moisture. In the end, less than 1% of the world's fresh water is readily accessible for direct human uses and is found in our lakes, rivers, reservoirs, and in underground sources shallow enough to be tapped at affordable cost. More than 3.5 million people will die this year from water-related disease. 84% of these deaths will be children under the age of 14. To quote a recent report from UN Water and the United Nations Secretary General's Advisory Board on Water and Sanitation, water-wise the world is in a state of crisis. More people die and suffer from the lack of access to safe drinking water and to basic sanitation than from war. There are 884 million people in the world, almost all of them in developing regions, who still do not obtain their drinking water from improved sources. Although most of these deaths today occur in developing countries, a little more than 100 years ago, cities such as New York, London, and Paris were centers of infectious disease due to waterborne diseases. Child death rates were as high then as they are now in sub-Saharan Africa. Thanks to sweeping reforms in water and sanitation in our developed countries, human progress continues to leap forward. A poll by the British Medical Journal found that clean water and sanitation comprise the most important medical advancement since 1840. In many places on this planet, individuals must travel sometimes great distances to gather water for their family survival. And more often than not, the water source is usually a polluted river or surface reservoir. They may gather their drinking water from the same source where they bathe, wash their clothes, or animals gather to drink. Trash and factory chemical waste is often dumped into the same available source for water. And most of the shallow wells dug today only find contaminated water due to runoff from polluted rivers, lakes, chemical-treated farmland, and poor living environments. So how do we help developing countries gain access to clean drinking water? Drilling wells can help, but this requires a lot of time, effort, and money. And there's no guarantee this will provide clean drinking water. The answer? Clean the water they already have access to. Simply pumping their source water through a filtration system can begin to save lives immediately. Cleaning water from polluted wells, streams, rivers, ponds, or wherever standing water is found does not require building huge water treatment facilities like we have in our developed countries. And that's good news because the cost, infrastructure, and manpower needed to build, run, and maintain these facilities makes it nearly impossible in most rural areas of undeveloped countries. So how do we clean the water for entire villages or communities without a large-scale water treatment facility? By using the revolutionary gravity-assisted Feltenberger pendulum pump and aqua-thin filtration system. Gravitational Energy Corporation has teamed up with AquaThin, a highly recognized and proven water filtration industry leader for over 30 years to produce a simple-to-operate water filtration system capable of producing over 1,000 gallons of pure, clean drinking water per hour. Don't let its small size fool you. A single Feltenberger pendulum pump is capable of providing daily enough clean drinking water for up to 40,000 people. With this simple hand-operated device, Virtually any polluted water source can be filtered and transformed into clean drinking water with very little fatigue to the operator. Well, this is our newest pendulum pump, and it's our most 
portable and the easiest machine to move about. It's built permanently on a heavy duty trailer and it's very easy to tow it about uh, with a, a truck or a Jeep or it can be moved by hand. It features the same things that, that uh, are on the machine that we sent to Haiti that is pumping clean water for people there. On this side we have the aqua shield filtration system and on the other side of the machine is the reverse osmosis system. And this way being portable and having the ability to make clean drinking water as well as ultra pure water, we believe it can service the needs of, of thousands and thousands of people. Hello, my name is Bob Thompson. I'm the president of the One Life Missions Foundation, which is a U.S. organization that in part works to propel and empower missions into disaster zones. We've been working as part of our mission in the country of Haiti since the earthquake of January 12th of 2010. In our role as a camp management agency, one of the most challenging things that we confront every day is the necessity of clean and safe drinking water for the people living in the spontaneous refugee camps that we're managing. One of the great blessings of this mission work has been our introduction to the Gravitational Energy Corporation based in Akron, Ohio. The Gravitational Energy Corporation's unique water pump and filtration system, the pendulum pump as we call it, has been in use now in Haiti for approximately uh, six weeks. It was very graciously donated by the, the gentleman who owned the company for our use in Haiti as a result of their compassion for the Haitian people. Uh, it is truly a unique system, and we have put it to use immediately uh, for the people of Haiti, not only purifying drinking water to meet the needs of approximately 4,000 people on a daily basis, but we have also used its unique pumping mechanism to empty uh, what were fairly polluted and mosquito-filled cisterns on a couple of the sites that we manage. It has been an extraordinary blessing to us to obtain the system, and over the next month we're going to be working uh, in partnership with some of our larger NGO friends in Haiti to greater leverage the system for use in benefiting the Haitian people. The Feltenberger Pendulum Pump is available in many different configurations. An A-frame mounted for permanent installations, a complete unit on a customized trailer for easy transportation, and the Pendulum Pump is also available for installation on your own structure or platform. The AquaThin system, combined with the Feltenberger Pendulum Pump, provides a sustainable means of providing clean drinking water in remote and less developed areas. Whether it's a remote village in Africa, a natural disaster such as the earthquake in Haiti, Hurricane Katrina, or the recent flooding in Tennessee, this system provides a more appropriate and cost-effective means of producing clean drinking water versus the more expensive approach of drilling wells or importing bottled water. The time to do something about the lack of access to clean drinking water is now. The sooner we act, the sooner we can help improve the quality of life for more than a billion people. The sooner we can stop the easily preventable loss of life due to contaminated water. For more information, purchasing options, or how you can donate a Feltenberger Pendulum Pump to a community in need, visit GravityAssistedPower.com today. Gravitational Energy Corporation, for the betterment of mankind.